hardcore to me, how I approach it, how I play it is, I take that pissed off, fast, street influenced music, and I take the metal approach to it. I try to add a little bit more, clean it up a little bit more, play it a little faster, and just inject something else into it. The stuff that I recorded here, it covered a lot of ground, I think. A lot of halftime stuff, a lot of breakdown stuff, uh, stuff that hits hard. Um, but also you have the variety of faster hardcore or punk beats done at different BPMs. Uh, you know, your classic D beat or your classic punk rock style beat. And uh, we even got some oi stuff going on, you know, some of the, the uh, lazier mid-tempo oi sing-along anthem type style song structures and, and drumming. I'm really proud of it, you know, I'm, I'm really proud I, I had a lot of a lot of freedom to just cut loose on the kit and um, there's some cool beats in there to really uh, put together some cool songs and mosh around your living room just to the drums you don't even need any other instruments just put the drums together and you'll be breaking stuff in your house I think it's great just that, you know, this type of digital medium or whatever you want to call it is shining a light on the genre of hardcore and punk rock and it's cemented now in digital history. It's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. It's like it feels as good as that first time having your first demo recorded and seeing the logo and your name is there. You know, it's that same feeling of like, wow.